Whoa! That was sample too. Handsome sausage. Arriba! Hey, we're handsome sausages. Hello, everybody. We had some sausages, and today we are reacting to 80s Arriba. Arriba, Spanish, right? It means up, high up. I'm not sure. Don't. Quote me on this, obviously, but I think you can also use it repeating or with something else. It can also mean like "let's go" kind of thing. Oh. I might be wrong on that. For my case, I think I've been hearing like "arriba" was like more "let's go," yeah, kind of, like kind of hyping thing. up. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I think you can use it like that mm. too. But technically, from my memory, "arriba" just means mm. it's not exactly up. But anyways, okay. So that's what we're reacting to. So we can already tell that it's gonna be pretty yeah. hype. We're coming from emergency, oh. which was truly an emergency. And we know, which established the world that we still don't know. Of course, before Arriba was Crazy Form, because mm. that was track number three. Oh, and oh, but, right, but right, because right. we started right. with yeah. it, uh, now we're on track number four. Technically, for other albums, this should be like a B side, mm. like beginning of a, a B side or transition yeah, yeah, into yeah. it. But knowing 80s, this is gonna be just as hard. So we're gonna check this one out. But before we start, thank you everybody who's supporting our channel over at our Patreon page. If you wanna have a say in what we react to next, get extra contents and all those lovely stuff, check out our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. We're gonna be reacting to a bunch of stuff, including things we've already reacted to, like Kingdom Legendary War. And as we always say, we're going through 80s from A to Z, checking out their entire discography in order. So if you wanna be a part of the community, check out the link. Otherwise, let's get to the song. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, we also heard that they're going to be uh, dropping music video for uh, a number of songs that we haven't checked yes, out yet. Yes, yes, Starting yes. like January 3rd. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But anyways, for today, it's Arriba. Let's go. Three, two, one. Click. <laughs> it's like a oh. darker version of To The Beat or something, you know? Mm. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Wow! And you hear the melody? Wow! Whoa! That was sample too. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> wow, the, the, the rhythm's different. Yep. Of course. It's more like a waltz over here. Yeah. Oh. Dirty night. <laughs> this is Mingi? Oh, yeah, it is Mingi. Yeah. Ooh. Yo, the rap line in this song is. Night long. Dexco. I love this. Ooh. That vintage piano like yeah. sound is just. Ooh. Oh, he's been still being tortured. Juntos, yeah. Wow. It's heavy. Oh. 
위바 That was so good. So this al- album really has that Latin influence wow. style of songs. Well, I mean, they, they were down right just speaking Spanish. Yeah. In different parts like Canta Juntos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Other things. Right? Like it's... This one was like very direct. Whether, you know, uh, the crazy form was it, it was influenced and in, inspired. I mean, there and, were different songs from mm-hmm. their previous album as well where they had that kind of energy. Yep, yep, yep. And like crazy form as well had, mm-hmm. you know, it was like a wordplay more mm-hmm. like. But anyways, this one is like on the nose about it, right? Yeah. And yeah. I really... But it, it still had different genres mixed in that makes it ATs, you know what mm. I mean? Now, before we go on, I just want to point out a couple things in terms of the lyrics. I didn't pay attention to everything. I'm, I'm sure if I did, I would have more things to talk about. But just for the most important line, which is that hook line, there were some some mm. things. Like, Domino. for example, Yosang's It says fear gradually paralyzes like a domino. But that's not what he's saying. I think what he's saying is fear itself is gradually being paralyzed. So they're losing fear, not that the fear is paralyzing them. So that's one thing. Uh, the second thing is uh, in the same section, Uyang goes, mm. And it says in English, I'm already enjoying escaping. Oh, no. But it means to escape, I'm already enjoying it too much. So mm. I'm not going to escape. That's yeah. what he's saying, which if you listen to the song yeah. makes way more sense they're losing fear and they're too deep into this enjoyment to escape from it see with those two lyrics that were mistranslated if you look at the real meaning it's almost as if it's something that they should fear and mm. something that they should escape from but mm. they're not okay right right so right, it's right. like it's like oh there should be fear but that's being paralyzed mm. like domino like one by uh-huh. one gradually it's I'm, I'm losing fear where yeah. there should be fear. And also, I should escape, but I'm but, enjoying it yeah. too much now this dirty night. Uh-huh. So it can be a very, a party time, it yeah. can be a very sexy yeah. song or it could be something bigger in terms of the lore. Mm. Right? It's not just about like this right. dirty night, right, right. Uh, but a situation or if you look at a bigger image or picture, it's something that they should fear but they're not and this it's a part of this world right mm-hmm. so just wanted to point those two things out because i think it's a very important lyrics that is mistranslated so that's that otherwise the song itself uh, that vintage organ slash the, piano the like piano. upright piano yeah. sound right the thing was keep going on on the right side i guess yeah and it, yeah. i don't think it was like vintage vintage it was more that it was filtered it, it had vinyl sounds added on top or mm. it, it, it was eq'd yeah. in a way you know just what i like mean that Time yeah, to create sound that sound tone. Yeah, yeah that sound. Uh, that was very nice. Mm. That kept going. And the rhythm change as well. I really yeah, liked it. Yeah, the thing was crazy. At the, at the first, uh, it was pre-chorus that the rhythm was changed, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't follow it at the first, but then I, I started realizing that, oh, okay, this is this beat. And then, oh, this song would be difficult for any people that doesn't know the music much mm. and it's not really singable oh, right, I say. Right, so I see, yeah. that means 80s is really good at music so <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. I mean because it started with this like three time almost like yeah, yeah it felt like, like waltz. waltz somehow yeah I see that like it was do, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, it's, it's dun, totally dun, not waltz dun, 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 but dun, yeah dun, but it's just three times so that's the why. way they portrayed it it was like whoa it's it feels like waltz, but completely hip hop, right? Yeah, yeah, and that, well, I mean, like it's yeah, a mix of different things. But then in the, the pre-chorus, meaning yeah, exactly. But then in pre-chorus, they kind of doubled it up. Uh, it was it, it was it, a two count. I just yeah. got two. So yeah, they changed that a little bit for the members. I feel like this song had one of the strongest individual tones, as in both the rap sections from Hongjung and Mingi was extremely refreshing and different. I felt yeah. like the way they played around with it, even the thing that. Mingi says in the middle like oh, I had so much fun mm. so that, it was very natural and fitting to this character mm. and this storyline 
and the way the flow was different for Mingi and Hong Jung's rap style, as well as different members singing the line in different ways that are very controlled and impressive, really just impressive singing skill. And speaking of singing, Chong Ho, yes, it's still he being tortured. Yeah, he was still going crazy, but it was a a, a roofed mm. craziness. Yeah, that is in in my opinion harder. Like it wasn't just flat out screaming. It was more of a power, but under control. Yeah. I, I don't know. I like. I really liked his singing in and this song. I think song. it's also because they kind of when he was doing the ad libs, it was at the back. Yeah, that's so. It. I think the that's mixing as well, yeah. right? And it was heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, yeah. The bass. And yeah, it, it almost sounded too distorted at one point. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And like it, a good feeling, you too. know, it, on top of it having that vintage sound. Mm -hmm. and, Different vinyl sound and scratch mm. sound. It, it had so much texture and and you know dust on top of it that made it sound extremely distorted. But it works. Yeah, and usually and some, sometimes like eighties, the heavy songs tend to have only the kick and the bass is heavy, so mm. that it's creating that immense heavy moment. Mm. But this one felt like on top of it, the other instrumentals were also low. All right, but right. It, it just didn't feel like the bottom part is full. That's it true. It felt like more even the upper part was still low and, and wide and heavy somehow. Like, I, I don't know how it's, they did it. Yeah, that's interesting. But it was that's amazing. A, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. We've said this before. But 80s really is musician it's for a musicians. musicians. Yes. And songs like this is what we are talking about when we say that phrase. Mm. Uh, there's so much delicious stuff musically yeah. that we just can't help but just smile about and, <laughs> and, and, and appreciate. Yeah. So hopefully uh, our reaction and a little explanation that was kind of all over the place. <laughs> Hope that uh, gave an idea of why 80s music is so mm. delicious for musicians and for people who really just like music. And yeah, we're, we're super excited to go through this album and we'll see you in the next one, I guess. Take care, guys. Garville, 11. Great. Wolfling. That's very. X underscore MXI. Ace. Kong Sang Wong Clara Mel. Christine. Sarah B. Mia Pena. Ellie Stay Dreamer. Courtney Colin. Tracy. Kajuri. Antonia Ateez. Kia. Glory. Aline Fury. Diane. A cheese.